All right, today's the day where we are going to start putting all of our creative ideas into our writing for our Halloween author's chair. So you should have all of your graphic organizers close by so that you can use your ideas, okay? Now today, we are only going to do two parts, all right? So I want you to get out a marker or something so that you can circle today we are only going to write our beginning and attempt number one. So again, I want you to get a marker or something and circle on our plot paper, beginning and attempt number one. That is all we are writing today, okay? So what does our beginning need? Well, our beginning needs to make sure we um, introduce our problem, right? And then the middle, the attempt number one needs to just be one way we try to solve the problem, but say it with me, it does not work. So you should have already done all the hard thinking. You should have already done your thinking sheets, your graphic organizer. So now it's just adding a little bit more details, okay? So you're gonna watch me write my first two paragraphs and then I'm gonna send you off to just do the first, say it with me, two. And what are they? The beginning and attempt number one. That is it. So we wanna make sure we're in our writer's notebooks, we are indenting, and we are starting with what? We are starting with that hook, that sentence starter. So I had, one dark Halloween night. Halloween better be capitalized if you're using that. One dark Halloween night. Skip lines. What happened? My Maggie the Mummy. wakes up and notices her magic pumpkin is missing. And remember, who stole it? Olivia the Owl. But I'm gonna have to add a little bit of detail. How did she know that it was Olivia the Owl? Maggie ran to the window and saw a snowy white owl holding oh here's where I can add some of my sensory details her glowing magical pumpkin that is my beginning. So let's look. I made sure that I had my hook. Hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, one dark Halloween night. That's my hook. And then I made sure to include the problem and what happens. Okay, the problem was her pumpkin is missing. What happened? Olivia the owl what stole it, right? So I might add something actually that makes me, let's reread it, because sometimes we have to reread it to make sure it makes sense. Hoo -hoo, hoo hoo one dark Halloween night, Maggie the mummy wakes up and notices her magic pumpkin is missing. Maggie ran to the window and saw a snowy white owl holding her glowing magical pumpkin. I'm just gonna add Olivia the owl had stolen it. Yeah, I like that better. Now I can say, whoop, whoop, 
my beginning paragraph is complete. Now, what's the second thing that I want you to write? Your attempt number one. So I'm going to skip a line and I'm going to indent. And remember, your attempt one cannot work. So I'm going to say, Maggie runs outside as fast as lightning and asks Olivia very politely and then this is where I'm going to add my quotations and every time I'm skipping lines can I please have my pumpkin back? Quotation marks. And I was asking a question, so I made sure to include a question mark. Um, Olivia shrieks. Olivia shrieks. No way! And would not give it back. That is it for today. All right? So on Schoology, it'll have the directions, but all you were writing today is you are writing your beginning. You are making sure you include your problem and how it happens. And then you are also writing attempt number one. So again, you are just writing two paragraphs. Your beginning, you should have circled it. What's the problem? and how it happens, and then attempt number one. It can not work. All right? All right, get busy. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.